Yes, thank you, Taylor, for assisting. This is, uh, this is how we light a professional GoPro production. <laughs> With a broken Einstein. Uh-huh. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. That's all we do around here. Look, this is our set. All right, we're going to come back here. We're going we're gonna to roll this all in one take. I'm going to bill you for the gaff tape, but... Oh, come on. <laughs> Please do. I like to say, I, your suit's looking good, man. Thanks, man. I, I like this. This is well, we're just, you know, style. A little less hobo. How do we look? Do, are we well lit? Oh, man, that is some excellent lighting. Do we look good? Yeah, I'd say so. We are here today in beautiful Flagstaff, Arizona at Hidden Light. You guys remember Matt Beatty. Hi, guys. My man. <laughs> Matt has been on the show many times. Many, many, many times. Many times. Yeah. And uh, he is, he's, you are the best printer. Platinum Palladium printer this side of the Mississippi. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> are there any platinum palladium printers on the other side of the Mississippi? Oh, yeah. Oh, there are? Plenty, okay. There are plenty of people printing a lot of platinum in the world. <laughs> Just so to reiterate, the Holga, it's Holga, the photo assignments video, it's photo assignment 15. We'll link it up here too. Yep. So you can go watch that. But if you are going to use a digital camera and you want to achieve the Holga look, this is Matt Beatty's recommendations for awesome. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. All right, let's show them. Okay, let's okay. ruin a we, perfectly good digital camera. We begin with an Olympus OMD. Right. Yep. yep, and so um, I've got a slightly wider than normal lens on here, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just lock it into manual focus. And um, rather than giving myself multiple focuses to choose from, which I don't like, I'm just gonna pick one. All right, so pick I'm gonna one. say, I don't know, three feet to infinity. See, I give people choices, but you're saying like, we're just going, lock We're going it. hardcore. I'm just lock gonna lock and load. that down. All right. Gaffer tape. Gaff tape. You have to have gaff tape, right? Yep. So we're gonna double duty here. We're gonna cover up our logo, which is required. So we're gonna just tape that over so it lock the focus ring in place. Nice. Then we're gonna go do all of our settings. So I've got this in manual mode mm -hmm. and I run through all the menu basically and I'm shooting in JPEG, in monochrome. I've got a big old like high contrast filter on there. So, and it, we're at 60th of a second at F8, which is what Ted has decided. Yep, 60th at F8. Now, I don't know about you, but I like to cheat. So I'm gonna make it so I can't cheat. So I'm gonna lock down my manual button no cheating. No cheating. Right? Gaffer, plus, your camera looks really awesome with gaffer yep. tape. And these are my control dials, so i got to lock those down. Yep, don't want those. Use, use we don't guy. need them. Don't need them. So I'm going to do one for the shutter speed. It's starting to look like a holder. you got to get real careful with the one so you don't cover up your button here, right? So we'll just like... Yeah, we do need to take the picture still. Right, so, you got to be able yeah. to press the button. So we'll just do like something like that, maybe. Right, this camera's starting to look really, really professional. Oh, good. It's starting to. I'm yeah. going to go photograph weddings with this later. Nice. And Ted... <laughs> They'll love you. Ted has decided we're not using the viewfinder either. Yeah, no viewfinder, man. So just, just get rid of that. And while we're at that, we'll get rid of the screen. Do you use the viewfinder on the Holga when you shoot a Holga? Yeah, hell yeah. I, I, I just... That's the only thing you have left is composition. True. But, we'll get, <laughs> but we're, we've, we've given that up now. We've given that up now. So no screen, so you can't look at them. Um, can't change your focus, so it doesn't matter. Can't change your controls. The problem now is your glass is entirely too sharp because it's nice modern glass. Oh yeah, yeah. And this is a piece of plastic. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna just go ahead and make this a little softer here with some saran wrap. Saran wrap, nice. I like it. Wow, it's not a very sharp knife, is it? You know. We're doing good. As long as you don't cut yourself, we're fine. How about if I cut? Never mind. Kids, um, please exercise caution. So we're gonna take our you do this at very home. fancy new front lens element here. Oh, that's nice. Is that aspherical or is that? Uh, uh, yeah. It's very aspherical, it's, actually. It's something. There's no continuity at all. Right, and this we're is... gonna use um, high quality rubber bands. To just nice. hold that on there. This looks good. And then typically on a Holga, you get a really big vignette. And so I'm just gonna oh, take. You get color. I'm just nice. gonna go ahead and give myself a nice vignette all the way around the edge of the frame very here. Cool. Oh yeah. And you got to get it far enough in that you can, you know, see what's going on. Boom. Oh, oh there on the Vignette, bottom. Yeah, baby. Nice. Let's go ahead and cover up that logo there real quick. <clears throat> oh, yeah. No logos. No logos. We're no just logos. gonna pretend none of that's there. Yep. Boom. Now, Nailed if, it. If you're one of those guys who owns a Leica and you like to use black tape over the covered, to cover the red dot, this could be your next move right yep, here. This is it. Because nobody's have, gonna want to steal that. If from you have you. really nice Zeiss glass, go ahead and just put some some cellophane, whatever, over that and see how it goes. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm into that. Personally. I like it. Very nice. So now you're ready to go shoot. And now you're ready to go shoot. You so just turn um, the camera on and uh, you can make noises, but I'm sure it looks great. Probably. Yeah, it does, you know. Well, no, but you're gonna think about it a little bit. You got a shot now. But see, here's the thing, and I don't think that a lot of people. Hold on. 
only that's, a, that, that's a real classic move to make in the middle of your video. <laughs> grab it by your hand. Um, I don't think a lot of people understood this because I have gotten some questions. But the limitations of the Holger are what are attractive about it. So right. if you have, I guess, 160 of the second, it's an F8. You're at a certain ISO. You're not going to be able to take intimate portraits indoors and expect any kind of exposure to come out. So that's off the table. So what can you do? You take your subject outdoors. But and not in bright sunlight because that's overexposed. True. So, so you're you, going to shade? It's open shade. Open shade. Which is where you want to be anyway, right? We're serious photographers. We're, 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 we're like doing you favors. Shade. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, that's how you do it. Just embrace it. It doesn't matter what kind of toy camera you're using. It doesn't matter what you set your settings to. Just give yourself that constraint, right? Yep. And then make yourself go shoot. Exactly. And don't spray and pray. Like, give yourself one shot per composition as if you only get 12 on a roll of film. And then go out and do it again. And right. And learn from your mistakes. And I would encourage people to post them exactly as you shot them. Don't go through. Don't make them better. Don't whatever. Just em embrace how messed up they're going to be and just post them. Let's see it. Go with the flow. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, we're, we're gonna do are you going to participate? Oh, yeah. I like it. I've got right. probably 20 frames on this already. So. Can I come back and uh, yes. we can review? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll have my <laughs> images from this series in the portfolio review we're going to do later. Okay, awesome. I'll, 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 I'll <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. Awful. All right, you are the man. I appreciate it. They can find you at Hidden Light. And we're going to do more stuff coming up because like, we've been goofing around in this video. But we are serious about this. Yeah. I'm filming this on a GoPro right now because it's all I had with me. <coughs> should we I, give I, it a, should we do the vignette? On yeah, the do the vignette. We yeah, do put that the, over there. See how good it looks? Oh, I bet it's really looking good now. <laughs> yeah. <that's, laughs> we didn't print today. We prepared a camera. Yeah, we'll, we'll make prints of these awesome Holga photos later. That'd be cool. Because you can do that. Platinum yeah. Palladium. How many megapixels do you got in there? I don't know. Enough. I think it's 12. Yeah. Enough. The Holga's higher resolution, for sure. <laughs> Actually, then that the irony? It is. All right, guys. <laughs> well, until the next video, this has been a really well-produced episode of the Matt and Ted Show. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed it. There will be more. You want to do the salute? That's what, what I salute? do. I go see you later and then I salute. I've never watched your videos. I don't know. Oh, later. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. The most important part. I, I, I thought of that and then we got sidetracked.